My name's Sean Cousins. I'm the writer-director of the popular ABC TV show Carbon Cops. It's a weekly series where ordinary families are introduced to new technologies to help them reduce their greenhouse gas emissions. While researching products for the program, I came across the Solar Venti. The Solar Venti was invented in Denmark as a device mainly for circulating warm air in homes used only periodically, like beach houses. But its potential as an alternative heat source in sunny environments like Australia has recently been recognised. Importantly, it's completely solar powered and therefore free to run once it's installed. More than 20,000 units have been sold in Europe since 2001. The Solar Venti is an ingenious maintenance free device. It uses the sun to warm the fresh air in the solar collector, then ducts the warm air with a fan powered by a built-in photovoltaic panel to where it's needed, inside the house. It costs nothing to run and in a climate like Australia provides significant heat gain inside a reasonably well insulated house. In one of the episodes of Carbon Cops, we were looking for a solution to a family with a heavy reliance on their tumble dryer. I thought a solar venti might provide the solution where we could move warm air down into a small room dedicated to drying clothes. The object of the exercise was to reduce the family's reliance on their tumble dryer with a solution that had little or no impact on the environment. I contacted the Australian sales agent for Solar Venti, Arnie Hackman. He was intrigued by the idea and offered his expertise to see if we could make it work. We finally settled on the SV30. It's the largest unit available. We ducted it into a small room, 2.5 by 1.8 metres square with an extraction fan powered by a second photovoltaic panel in the roof unit to exhaust the moist air outside. It was a risk for the company to attempt to use their product for a purpose for which it was not intended, and fortunately for all of us, the experiment was a resounding success. It's fantastic. The wonderful thing is that the clothes actually dry. It really has made a big difference to the way our family, um, how we all put in and now look after ourselves. We use it a bit like a walk-in robe. After the success of the solar venti drying room, I began to think about the issues of mildew and dampness in the south facing rooms in my own home. It occurred to me that an SV30 pumping into my two bedrooms would solve a lot of my problems. It provides a source of warm air, greatly reducing my heating costs and therefore my carbon emissions, and it'll address the mildew problem. I went to meet Beryl and Ken Atkinson, who used a solar venti SV30 to solve a similar problem in their home. Well, during the winter, we had a lot of condensation on the windows and we found that it, it was, uh, we were getting a lot of mould on the blinds, as you can see. And since the solar vent has been in, we found that the windows have been a lot, a lot better. We haven't been having as much condensation and it's been a lot warmer in here too. This is the temperature control unit. In winter time, we put it up to around about the 23 mark. This is where the hot air comes in and it spreads right through the room and goes to the bottom of the house. It's a very large house and during the winter we get a lot of condensation in the wardrobes, on the clothes, and we've found since solar vent has been put in, it has made a lot of difference. And I'm, I'm sure, you know, if you have it put in, it'll make a lot of difference to your home too. The SV30, although the largest of the solar venties, weighs less than 30 kilograms. It can be installed on a wall or mounted on a stand on the roof at a minimum angle of 60 degrees. A special piece of flex tube absorbs the noise from the fan, which is placed inside the collector with the photovoltaic panels. The all-in-one design makes for fast and easy installation, further adding to the cost effectiveness of the unit. This thermostat's been installed to control the temperature inside the house. For example, when set to 25 degrees, the fans will stop when the temperature in the house exceeds 25. Using the speed regulator, you can vary the speed of the fan. The lower the fan speed, the higher the temperature of the incoming air. And you can also use the fan regulator to switch the unit off completely. That air is surprisingly warm. 
I'm confident it's going to be able to deal with the mildew problem we've had in the bedroom. And I also think it's going to provide a supplementary heat source for many months of the year. Now have a look over here. In the summer months, I'll be able to rely on this extraction fan, which is part of the solar venti system. The idea is simple. When the thermostat exceeds 25 degrees, this will kick in and pull all that warm air from the ceiling out of the house. It runs on a photovoltaic panel inside the solar venti, so it doesn't use any energy, any electricity, and it means I'm not going to be relying on CO2 producing cooling systems throughout the summer. The solar venti company have units in a variety of sizes suitable for every situation, and undoubtedly some situations that have not yet been thought of. As we discovered, the solar venti is a versatile and efficient unit. The advantage of uh, the whole system, of course, is that we've uh, paid solar venti for the unit and there's no further or additional cost added to it. I'm not a salesperson, but I really believe that every household should have one. We're very happy with it. It's been worth the money.